Yo guys, what's going on? It's Rise Tank here with another video and today I'm going to be making a really kind of cool important video showing you guys a couple things about the game Clone Hero which is kind of like Guitar Hero on the computer and I'm going to be showing you how to download it, how to set it up, how to get custom songs, and how to use a Wii guitar on it. Let's get it. Alright guys, so you're going to need a few things for this. The first thing you're going to need is a Wii controller and this has to be without the motion plus all right guys so the second thing you're gonna need well as i hit my monitor is a Wii guitar and you can use other guitars but this tutorial will only work with Wii guitars so you want to pick this up i got this one on ebay i'll leave the seller's information in the description it's a used guitar for like 40 bucks but it's actually in really good quality so yeah you're gonna need these two things and I'll show you how to do it all. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you the three things that you need to download, plus how to download songs for Clone Hero once we get into that. So the first thing you want to download is called 7-Zip. Just look up 7-Zip. Take you right to the website. And you want to download the one for what version of Windows. I'm running Windows 10 64-bit, so I'm going to click the link for the Windows 10 64-bit. Click Keep. Open it up. Click Yes. Just asking for Admin and install it all right now it's installed and so that's all you have to do for that part all right next thing you want to do is actually install clone hero itself so you want to go up to your web browser type in clone hero enter go to their website go to downloads up in the top right and click download this is all the by the way guys this is only available for windows users so people on mac os Sorry, there might be a version later on released, but I'm there's nothing right now. So once it's done downloading, you want to click on that. And actually, this is the reason why we downloaded 7-Zip. So it goes away. And so what you want to do is go into your downloads. Or you can just right click on it when it's popped up instead of clicking on it like I did. And once you get to your downloads, you want to click show in folder. And so this brings up the folder, which has it downloaded. And you can see right here, so if you right click on this, you can say 7-Zip, open archive. That's what you want to do. It keeps opening on my other monitor. And then you want to extract this whole folder right here. You want to extract this to wherever you keep your games. So for me, I'm just going to make uh, right in here a new folder called Clone Hero. But I'm going to do that real fast just so I don't mix it up with mine that I have right now. Alright, so I just made my folder called uh, Video Tutorial. You can make it called Clone Hero, like this is my actual game right here. But I just want to make it called Video Tutorial because I don't want to mix it up with my other one because I'm just going to delete it when I'm done. So you want to click on that, click OK, and it will extract the files that you just downloaded. That's why you need the, zip, the unzip program. And it will install those into the folder. You can close out of here, close out of here. And now, when you go to your folder, Video Tutorial or whatever you named it, you will have all the stuff that you need right in here for it so now i'm going to show you guys how to download custom songs and i'll leave in the description what i'm about to show you everything that you need for this will be in the description so let's get into it all right guys for so for the custom songs what you're going to want to do is go down in here to your web browser and i already have it open but i will leave this the link in the description it's hard to find it but i'll leave the link in the description straight to this spreadsheet this google doc spreadsheet or this google whatever this is called and it has all of these. These are all these are all um, people that have put songs together and made charts for them. And so right here you can see all the Guitar Hero games. One, two, three, all of these. Awesome. This is so cool. And so if you you're like, hmm, I want to get Guitar Hero three song or let's get Guitar Hero three Legends of Rock. You click on that. You click download. It takes you to a new page. It will take you to like some downloader site. Once you click this, right in here, click download. It's fine. It doesn't matter. 894 megabytes. So I'm actually going to add this to my thing. This will be cool to have. So yeah, you're just going to want to wait for this to d finish downloading. All right, guys. So once your file is done downloading, mine just disappeared for some reason. Uh, you're going to want to go to your downloads or just right click it on, on it down here. And you're going to click show in folder from right here. And that will open it up right up here. And once again, you're going to use 7-Zip. You're going to right click on it. Click 7-Zip open archive and here's the songs right here 
So you're going to want to like drag with your mouse, highlight them, click extract. And then from here, click these little bars and it'll take you into here. And you're going to want to go to where you downloaded Clone Hero from before. So mine is in documents, my games, video tutorial and songs right down here. And so uh, you're just going to want to download it or move it into the songs folder like this. Just click, just do that and click OK. And yep, just wait for this to finish. All right, guys, now from here, you can just exit out of wherever that was. Go right back to into your folder where you downloaded it. And now in the folder called songs, you will see your new downloads. So that's, that's exactly everything you need right now. You can literally go and start playing these songs. Actually, you can't yet. I'll show you why you have to scan songs in the game. I'll show you that in a minute. Just let me show you how to use the Wii guitar now. All right, guys, for to get the Wii guitar to work, you're going to want to go into your web browser again and type in glove pie. Just like that right there. Go to glove. Excuse me. Go to glove pie. And. Just look around for a minute and make sure I want you guys to be comfortable with what you're downloading. I know this is completely safe. This is a trusted website, Sophonic, and they just. Yeah, you should just download it. So I mean like click right here free download. No, thanks From here you don't need to sign in click alternative download Should download Don't sign in do not sign in just don't even though this is a trusted website There's still people out there to get you and you're gonna want to right click on it once it's done downloading click show in folder it's right here at Glove Pie, right there. You're going to want to right click on it, click 7-zip, open archive. And you can see all this Glove Pie stuff right here. You're going to want to highlight all of it, like drag with it. Click extract. Click to where you have, or you can actually just make a folder for this wherever. So I'm just going to go documents my games. And just put it I would advise like I have a one called guitar so I, ha I downloaded it to that folder so I can just open it straight from there so I would advise just making a separate folder from it besides clone hero and so go to video or go wherever you want and then just click OK and OK and export it so this is done now done done now we can go to our file and from where you put it you should be able to go to it right here and there's two there's two different files for it there's the glove pie and the glove pie bird I've had problems with the glove pie one but the bird one works better hey, yeah. all right guys so now you can go into the folder where you just downloaded glove pie to it's mine's video tutorial and so what I'm gonna tell you guys is something that may or may not work for you so there's two files for glove pie these are the actual application files right here glove pie and glove pie bird so glove pie sometimes works for me like this one without the bird um but i really always open this one now because i've just had bugs with the other one and so i would always recommend opening this one and so you're just going to want to have this here and you can even like section out like a specific part just for this file because this is all you really need to access but i would just maybe leave it here and just go to it from make your own file for it and just open it and so I'm going to show you now how to connect your Wii guitar to your computer or the Wii remote to your computer and then how to do uh, connect it with uh, Glove Pie. So, yeah, let me get into that right now. All right, guys, now that you've got everything installed, you got your custom songs, you got Clone Hero, you got Glove Pie, you got 7-Zip for unzipping the files that you might want to download later for the game songs. You're going to want to connect your actual Wii controller right here. To the computer and then we'll figure out the guitar so what you're going to want to do is if you're on windows 10 you're going to need to do this step and if you're on a different windows you can do it um just like go to your bluetooth but on windows 10 you're going to want to click right up here go to where it says bluetooth and right click on this and click join a personal area network you want to click on that and that will open up and then right up in the top left, you can say, see where it says add a device. And so you want to click that. And then on your Wii remote, hold down 1 and 2. So when you hold down 1 and 2, it should pop up and say input device. You see it right there. 
you can let go of the buttons now it's found it and then just click click on that and click next sometimes it doesn't work first try so you can keep going try it again try it again you know you want to wait if it doesn't work you want to wait for these to stop blinking like they are blinking right now you want to wait for them to just turn off and then like do what i said again and so now they turned off so like if you won't if it didn't connect you just redo it and so this is why you had to go to the personal network or whatever um because you don't need to enter a password so just click next on this oh uh, well see sometimes it just doesn't work all right so that's a prime example and i'll hold these two buttons down again and put device right there sometimes it changes the name to the nintendo one and it's a little glitchy but it's fine so you're just gonna click next and it will set it up now so when it works you'll see this bar and it might may take a little bit so Let's just let this finish. And yep, there you go. So now it's connected. It won't show anything. These lights will still probably be flashing. It'll turn off eventually. But you're, it will not do anything with your computer. So what you're going to want to do is go down here to where you installed um, Glove Pie. So I have it in video tutorial. And then you want to open the bird one. You want to open Glove Pie up. It's just asking for admin. Okay, and then opens this up right here. And it's pretty much, GlovePie is just a script reader, so people can make their custom scripts, and it'll be in here. So once you get to GlovePie, you can click File. This is what you need to do. You need to click File, click Open, and then you'll see files that it takes you into. So these are scripts that people have made for it. So the one you want to click is called gh3.py, the Guitar Hero 3.py. You want to double click on that, it will open the script in GlovePie. And you want to click Run, but not yet. Don't click run yet. What you want to do, actually, is grab your guitar right here and plug the guitar in, just like you do, and get it in here. And when you click run on the program, these lights will go, one will go blue. See? Just like one light will light up, it'll go player one. And so now, if you whammy, it will move your mouse. And also, if you guys are having any problems with this, feel free to comment in the description. I'll be, or in the comment section, I'll be checking those every day. So yeah, once you got this running, that's pretty much it. The one downside for this method is um, that uh, every time you want to play Guitar Hero, you're going to have to go through the whole steps of going into my personal network area, adding the guitar into that, Sometimes you have to remove it from the Bluetooth devices, so just go like down here, right click on Bluetooth, show Bluetooth devices. Sometimes you'll have to go into here and like click remove device, because sometimes it like won't connect and then you'll have to reconnect it. And then you just go into GlovePie, open this file, click start, and it'll be, it'll go. So from here what you're going to want to do is go into where you downloaded Clone Hero in the beginning. So mine is my games video tutorial, and you're gonna want to open. Oh, this is Clone Hero. My bad. Video to. Oh wait, another. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Wow. All right. So you're gonna want to go to where Clone Hero is. Clone Hero should be. Hold on. Let me find it real fast. One sec. All right. I'm dumb. So Clone Hero is in. Let me make sure it's recording. It is. Clone Hero is in this folder right up here. So you're going to want to double click on that and you see the game right here. You can drag this down and put it on your hotbar. I don't have mine there. Actually, I should. That's like a newer version, I swear. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to double click on this and this is where your custom songs are. Double click on Clone Hero. It will open it up for you. And just like that. You got your guitar, and what you're going to want to do before you do anything is hit the space bar. And go through here to whammy, and push down. you got to click replace, and push down on your whammy bar. Everything else should be good. So for the songs, what you're going to want to do, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, for the songs, what you're going to want to do is go down to let me turn my sound down a little bit you're gonna want to um oh yeah 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 you have to click the like one of these buttons down here and it will um 
select one of these two. I'm just going to sign in as guest right now. And you're going to want to go to uh, settings, scan songs, and click yes. So this will go through all the songs that you have. I already did it earlier. But it will go through all the songs that you have and get them all going. And so from here, everything else should be should be good. So now you can go to quick play. You have all your songs right here that you want. School's out. Medium. Everything should be working. And like I said before, um, <clears throat> like I said before, you can uh, say stuff whatever you want in the comments, and I can help you guys out. Actually, guys, I just ended the video, but I thought that I in the outro of the video, I'm not gonna put this part in, but I said that I was gonna make another video if you guys wanted me to on how to make like or put custom highways in for like the track that you're playing on and how to put like custom backgrounds in but i'm actually going to do that right now just for you guys so for the custom background first you're just going to want to look up pretty much any picture that you want so i like galaxy like galaxies are really cool like for a background so you're just going to walk up galaxy go to images find one that looks cool like this is pretty cool save this image right here and you're going to want to go to where you have your game file. So uh, you're going to want to go down to Clone Hero. So you click on the Clone Hero folder. You want to go to Custom. And Image Backgrounds right here. So I already have a couple that I put in. But this one's kind of cool. This is a Galaxy. I already have a Galaxy, but I just want to show. I spelled that wrong. Cool. You just want to click Save. I just want to show you guys how to do this. And so what you're going to want to do is go down into, I need to actually remove this, go down into Clone Hero, launch the game, just like this. You're going to want to grab your guitar. I'm just going to sign in as guest right now. You're going to want to go down to settings, custom content, background image, and from here, you can select what using this go cycle through all the things so the one I just made is called galaxy and that's pretty much it and sometimes if stuff doesn't pop up you have to click rescan custom content so that might just make it pop up for you guys so now if you go into a game let's just start a random background this is galaxy and this is expert so you ready to watch me die I'm done dude can't do that no more gosh Alright, so that's how to do that, and now I'll show you custom highways. Alright guys, so for the custom uh, highways, I actually made a Google Drive link in the description with just a few. I might add it to add to it later, but these are just the, like, the coolest ones, because sometimes the ones that are like super bright are kind of overrated because you can't actually see the background. And when the transparent, like these top couple that are actually really transparent, they look super cool with like the Galaxy ones or other backgrounds so you can just see straight through them. So I'm going to leave this link right up here in the description below along with tons of other links for stuff that you need for this. And so you'll be able to click on this and you can download these straight. You want to download these things. I'm sure you guys know by now how to do this. You want to download them straight to your Guitar Hero folder. So you want to go to where you have it. You want to go to Clone Hero, I mean not Guitar Hero, Clone Hero, Custom, Highways, and just place them right in here just like I have these. So, yep. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it made it easier for you guys to understand how to get this whole thing going because I know it can be kind of overwhelming with all the different things you have to do. But hopefully I made it easy enough to understand. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, find this helpful and feel free to tell your friends about it and share the video. Uh, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.